Hey guys, and welcome back to a brand new YouTube training. So after the success of that last uh, video leap training, where I showed you step-by-step -step how to create a workout video, I had a number of people ask me how to add a countdown timer into one of the corners. So I've been busy and I've created this brand new video for you. In it, I'm gonna show you step-by-step -step how you can add a countdown timer into your workout video so your clients can follow along and work out to the time. Plus, be sure to wait around at the end where I'm gonna show you a massive time-saving bonus so you don't have to keep cropping down the videos which I'm gonna show you today. This time-saving tip, you're gonna do a 20-second slot, maybe a 10-second slot, whatever your timing limits are, you're gonna create separate videos for those so it's much easier to crop. So make sure you wait around to the end for that section. Okay, so here is the video we're going to create. As you can see, as I scroll through and press play, we've got some background music, me talking, we've got a little transition. We then add in a countdown timer to the bottom right hand corner. And then in the second part of the video, we make the countdown timer look a lot nicer. So if you've never used Video Leap before, we're gonna head straight over to the App Store now and we're going to have a look. So this is Video Leap here, and as you can see, it's got a 4.5 star rating from over 3,000 people. So if it's got over 3,000 people reviewing it, and it's still coming out of 4.5 rating, then it's a high quality app. As we slide through and see some of the reviews, uh, previews, I mean, there's lots of options. It's telling us, so it looks like it could be a really good app. And I know from experience, it's the app that we use to create all our videos. So I'm going to slide up, you're going to press download and I'm going to press open. So before we start creating any videos, the next bit we need to do is we need to go and create some content. So we need to go and film some videos. So here I go. I've got my intro video. I've got my exercise video and then I've got my rest video. So I'm going to show you how to put an intro, transition to a workout, then transition into a rest period, each one adding that countdown timer in. The final bit we now need to find is a countdown timer. For this, we head over to YouTube. So this is our YouTube channel here. If you've never been to it before, make sure you do check it out and feel free to subscribe. We're going to go to the search box at the top. So press the search. Then we're going to type in, let's say, one minute countdown timer. Now, these are all the countdowns that come up, but we can't exactly just go and steal somebody else's content. So to make sure we're doing it the right way, we're going to press the setting menu up here. We're going to scroll up until it says Creative Commons, tap that, and then press back. This then shows us all the videos that people have uploaded and gave us permission to use. So all you do is slide through and find the one that you want. I know the one for me is usually in the two minute timer. So I go two minute countdown timer. And as you can see, I've used this one before and I've used this one before. So let's just say I want to use this one. I'm going to click this and it's going to start counting down. Now, I don't want a countdown of this length. Okay, I want a much shorter one. So all I would do is press pause, slide through until I want it to start. So let's say I want it to start at, say, 27 seconds. That will do. Take it up a little bit. So what I want to do now is I'm going to record my screen. So when I record my screen, so slide down, press record, three, two, one, and now my screen's being recorded. All I would do is press play, and it's now recording my screen. So 23, 22, 21. So let me just let this count down really quickly now. So this is going to count down from 27 all the way down to zero. When it gets zero, we're going to stop the recording from happening. Six, five, four, three, two, one. And let's stop that record. Stop, stop. Okay, so let's close the YouTube app. So here it is now, it's been added in. This is the recording and as I slide through, the countdown starts perfectly. Okay. Let's go back to InShot. So this button up here, the second one in, this is all your, um, this is all the videos that you've created. Okay. So everyone you've created, if I press this now, this is going to show me a couple that I've been recording. So I would press new project to start a new one. 
Then we need to add in our base videos. These are the videos of your intro, your workout, your rest period, and so on. So let's press the orange plus button. Then we're gonna find the uh, intro, which is that one, the first workout and the rest period, and then press add to project. Then we need to start working away and chopping down so it fits. Let me zoom in a bit. So find out where I start talking, press play, pause, I start talking just there. So when I find that point, I tap the clip and I drag this white arrow across. So now when I press play, perfect. Let's find out where I stop talking. Just pause. Then with that other opposite arrow, I'm gonna drag that in. And then we move on to the second clip. So let's find out where I start talking. Pause. Drag this down. Okay, so we've got video one. Video two. Press pause. So this is video two selected. That's video one selected. But if I tick in the middle, no video is selected. Now we see a little arrow just here. This is the transition point. So I'm going to give that a click. That enters me into some transition. So I just press dissolve. So when I press play, it nicely moves into the next one. So let's press pause there. So now I've told myself in the video to make it easy for me to show you when I want to start the countdown timer. So if I press play, Dan. So I started, let's start now. So I know. Next, I want to add the video or the countdown timer in. So I'm going to press back just here. Now, mixer is what we want to do. We don't add a video, we want to add a mixer. What mixer means, it's going to add a layer on top of our current video. So it could be a video or a picture. So let's press mixer. Then we're going to find that video. And that video has been added. Next, we need to cut it down. So let me slide across and find out where 20 seconds starts. Just there. So let's drag this to that 20 second point. Let's find out where the 20 seconds end. Two, one, zero. Let's drag that across. Nice. So here we go. So next, I want to enlarge this quickly. So if it's not select circled by an orange box and it looks a bit like this, we can't edit anything. So what we need to do is tap the bubble. So if I tap the bubble, now you can see an orange box around it. So let's zoom in a bit, pull it down, zoom in, pull it down. So now I just want to crop out the time, the battery life, and the white line at the bottom. So with this box selected, and it's orange, you'll see down the bottom here we have a few options. We're going to press the mask option. Then we're going to press the mirror option, and that's cut it right down. So if I just drag my finger up, it's now dragging up. So it's cutting out bits that we don't want. So all I'm going to do is squeeze it down so condense this line down. Almost there, so the white section disappeared. The top needs to be a little bit smaller. So let's see that. A little bit smaller again. Perfect, so I, I like how that looks now. So if I just click anywhere to come off it, as you can see, it's a perfect box. So all I'm gonna do is tick and drag it into place. So let's say I want to put it there. Maybe it needs to be smaller, so I could just two fingers and squeeze it down and put that into position perfectly there. So now when I press play, so let me just turn up so you can hear the volume of me talking. Okay, so now we need to move it so it's in the wrong place. So we're going to tap, we're going to hold and drag it, find out where I need to start talking. Pause, drag it there, press play. Yeah. So let's say I start now, so 20 seconds. Nice. So let's press pause. Let's come towards the end. So I go longer than 20 seconds. Good. So I need to clip or shorten this clip. So click, grab the white, drag it to the end. And I want to match it until it clicks into place with the timer. Just there. So now when I press play, one, zero, 
stop. Let's press pause. Now let's add a transition. So tap it, dissolve, and press play. Now. So next, I'm adding in a rest period. So this is a rest counter. So I'm going to find out where I tell my to start. That's where I'm adding it in. And all I'd want to do is add that same clip in again. So let's press mixer, find my clip. I'll drag it down because I only want 10 seconds this time. And so I'm going to tell myself where did I start? Pause, let's zoom out a bit this time. Drag this into place. Pause, drag that into place. And then we need to uh, condense it down. So let's zoom in, pull it down, zoom in. Remember, we slide all the way across until it says mask. We press mirror, we slide up, condense it down. And then we let it go. So now we, what we want to do is we want to make this into more of a circular option. So all I would do is I'd click the bubble again so the purple is selected. I'd slide across to where it says mask. And I would set press radial this time, the circular one just here. So I'd tap that. And as you can see, that instantly puts it into a circle. Now I could pinch to zoom in or I could open up and zoom out. But that's perfect for me. So I'm going to just tap off. And there it is. Then when I tap it again, I can zoom. Oh, so before I do anything, you can see it's still selected and radial still selected. So if I click off and go back and back, now when we select it again, it's ready for me to zoom out. So let me zoom out, add this to the bottom right corner. So now when I press play, Nice. So let's press pause. So it really is as simple as that. Finally, we want to add some music in maybe. So let's go to the start of the clip. I press back again just here. I slide across till I say audio. I press music. Then it gives me a choice of sound clips. So let's just go live in the moment. I'll press the download button. So it's downloading it for me. And then I would press play. So let me just press pause. That music is really loud. I can't really hear what's going on. So I'm going to press the volume button, slide that down to maybe 10%. Now when I press play. Hey guys, welcome to this really quick video. Let me just zoom through quickly. So that was the transition. Can you see it nicely? Then let's start the timer. Nice. Let's look what that circular one looks like. Good. Okay, so that is how we would add a countdown timer in. So once you're happy with the final layout, we've got everything done that we've just talked about, we want to now export it. So all we do is press the export button up here. We'd press photos and it starts exporting. We have to keep this screen on. So if it's a really long video, you might have to just keep tapping to make sure we don't go off because the minute it locks, it uh, kind of stops it from downloading and you've got to start all over again. So we've got to make sure this goes all the way around to 100% so it's saved onto your phone. So it's just doing its thing. 100%. Let's zoom out, go to our photos, press play. And let's slide through quickly. There's me talking, transition, countdown timer. Let's find the smaller countdown timer. There's a the smaller one and you're good to go. Okay, so like I said at the start of the video, I wanted to show you a massive time saver. So you don't have to keep chopping down that timer over and over and over again. So let's just say we want to create a 20 second countdown timer that you want to use over and over again. So what you do, you might create a 20 second one, you might create a 10 second one. So first thing we do, we're going to press the orange button. We're then going to find that clip. And we're going to press add to project. So this is the clip here. What we want to do though, is we want to press canvas, format, 
and then 16 by 9. So that's chopping it down right away. So now, as you can see, there's borders all along. So if I press back and back again, I want to select this clip. I want to chop it down to where my 20 seconds start. So that's the 20 second. Let's drag it down. Good. So when I press play now, 20 seconds is coming down. I find out where it ends. Just there. Drag that down. Then I'm going to zoom all the way in. Nice. And there you go. That is it perfectly zoomed in. So if I was to press canvas uh, format and press uh, the one by one, it zoomed in even bigger, but let's just keep it 16 by 9 for now. So as you can see, this is perfectly added in. So when I press export and photos, it is now saved as a video. So if I go to my video clips really quickly now and press play, instantly added it in so next time i was going to record a video so let's go back to InShot. let's start a new project and let's say i'm pressing the orange button let's say i'm just adding it into this one here for example and i would press mixer to add that video in that's the video i'd slide over to where it says mask i'd find radial zoom out a little bit and that is my 20 seconds added much quicker. I press back, zoom in, let's make it smaller and add it to my corner. So I'd have a 20 second clip all the time and a 10 second clip depending on how long each one is. So you don't have to always keep chopping them down. That is a much quicker way of doing it. Once you're happy with that, all you do is press export and save. So that was how to add a countdown timer to your videos. You can put the timer wherever you want, and I hope this is gonna make a big difference for the quality and the workout videos you're gonna create. By having a countdown timer in, not only is it gonna keep the audience who are watching it in line with how long they need to work out for, but it's just gonna make your videos look a little bit more professional because people can then see that they can properly follow along with your videos. If you have any other questions or any other videos you'd like me to create for you, just comment below and let me know. And as usual, if you haven't already subscribed, make sure you do subscribe to the channel. I'll speak to you all next time. Cheers. Thanks for watching. Now come join us inside our free Facebook group where on a daily basis we share tons of content to help you generate leads for your fitness business.